Uh, Sam, if you want to come back on this side right here. Okay, good. Now we're going to bring you in closer. If you want to come on this side, don't be, don't be afraid. I don't, I don't this bite somebody. Side. And just right across over here. Everybody get a little closer. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. Perfect. Fantastic. Well, also, I'm going to come right over here. And then, one of us. One more. One more. I mean, one more person. Fantastic. I was about to call in somebody. All right. So, we were talking about motors earlier. And several times here I've talked about, we've heard people talking about motors. But motors to a student doesn't have any connection. So what we're going to do is everybody get nice and close and even equally spread out. Everybody come in here nice and close. Everybody over here is going to be a pull of a motor. And Brian's going to be the rotor because he rotates. So he's going to be the rotate. You guys are going to be the stator because you're stationary. And one of the questions I ask students is which turns faster, an eight-pole motor or a two-pole motor? And the students always have the same answer is the eight pole is going to turn faster because more is better and more powerful in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to see exactly how that works. But there's a key to this. The magnetic field doesn't take over another magnetic field. So what we're going to do is turn the stator. You're going to turn it, and you're going to slowly pass it off to the next guy. You're going to pass it off to the next guy, etc. So we're going to see. It's going to be hard for you guys to see it at first, but we're going to turn the motor with an eight pole motor. So let's go ahead and get started. If it passes somebody, your, your stain is working too hard. So pass. See, we already passed the next person, so we're going too fast. So now you hold it, and now you pass it. Now you got it. Now you pass it to the next person, and it passed him without even touching it. So it's still turning too fast. So this is an eight pole motor. You can see it actually turning around. We can see the stator uh, stationary, the rotor rotating, eight pole motor. So there's three ways to change the speed of the motor, changing the frequency, the number of poles, or slip. Or fuck it. All right, so what we're going to do is take away two poles. So we need, we'll need. we have you step away. Uh, hold it, and I don't know your name. So let's have you step away. Let's equally turn around. Thank you, Luke. Now we have fewer poles with the motor. So what we're going to do is now do the same thing. Everybody's going to turn the motor. All right, boom, next person has it. Now it's hard to tell that he's turning a little bit fast, but we can ask the stator. And a motor, it's hard to ask because it doesn't answer very well. Are you turning any faster, Mr. Rose? Yes. Perfect. Now I want you guys to see it. So we're going to take away two more people. We'll have you step away, and you can step away. Now we're going to equalize that. Now we got only four, four poles of this motor. So now we're going to do is turn it to the next person. All right. Next, now you see the motor's starting to turn a little bit faster. And you may not fully appreciate this yet. What we're going to do next is take away two more poles of this motor. So we're going to stop, and we're going to take away two more poles. Are you sure you want to still do that first one? <laughs> so we're going to take away two more people. All right, now we only have two poles left of that motor. So you have to pass it directly to him and back. So we'll see how well that lunch works out. Now, is the motor turning faster, or is it turning slower? <laughs> <laughs> so, for us doing HVAC, we can think about this. We've done it. We understand it. But a new guy coming in, everything is new. He has to study. He has to think about it. So these are some of the ways we can visualize. So when they're doing that test, they're thinking about it, they're seeing it, they're going, now they can visualize. Man, with only two poles, that guy was flipping out. He was stumbling. And this is the things that help bring it to life. Bringing these basics to life. Uh, Jim said something so important was, these basics what everything else is built on. And I can't teach everybody everything in the industry. I'm still learning myself. That's why I'm here. We got so much to learn. But everything is built off of those basics. We can just keep modifying it. So that's what Smith is about. Magnetism is very, very important. But let's talk a little bit more about voltage. 